It is flu season, but that is not the only virus Dayton Children's Medical Center is warning parents about tonight. Marsha Bonhart has the report especially important for those with little ones. While the flu season takes its toll, another health problem lurks for babies and toddlers. It comes in the form of a virus called RSV. It causes an illness in um, the younger children called bronchiolitis. And this is not bronchitis, which most adults are familiar with, which is an inflammation infection of the big breathing tubes. Um, bronchiolitis is an inflammation and infection of the very small breathing tubes in your lungs. The virus makes it tough for little ones to breathe. As a parent or caregiver, you may notice wheezing or severe congestion. In fact, you may think the child is having an asthma attack. We don't have a lot of medicines to make you better. The children usually have to get better by themselves. But unfortunately, a lot of them get dehydrated or have such difficulty breathing that they need to be admitted to the hospital. More kids are admitted to Dayton Children's Medical Center because of RSV than the flu. Parents need to be on high alert, especially with children under the age of three. If they're not eating, we do worry about dehydration. The second thing is what we call work of breathing, which is a little bit confusing, but not really hard. And that is, how hard is it for your child to breathe? Are they, are they moving their body up and down and breathing really fast? That would suggest to you that they're having a really hard time breathing, in which case they need to be seen by the doctor. Rehydrating your sick child is critical. Doctors suggest Pedialyte, vaporizers, and observation. In Dayton, Marsha Bonhart, 2 News. And it is very easy for children to contract RSV. Physical contact and sneezing can spread the virus, and once it reaches surfaces like doorknobs and infant cloths, it can survive for up to six hours, say experts. So if you suspect an RSV infection, contact your pediatrician.